there's like 10 or 20 names that I wouldn't be surprised if any of them made it out. But of the, of the names that are here today, we have Pan Dulce and Kawaii going ahead and getting started off. Zelda versus Zero Suit Samus. What's your thoughts? Yeah, on paper, this seems like a very good match for ZSS, but that's why the game is played on the Switch and not on paper. <laughs> always the best with that. It's not always about what people go ahead and assume, it's what happens in the end. Pan Dulce actually doing some pretty good damage and percentages there. Good out of shield option. Yeah, those first couple of interactions already should be a sign to Pan Dulce that Kawhi is willing to attack your shield. So maybe be a bit more cautious early, then start the conditioning. Oh, we tried to reflect for that. I almost did that, that missed. Pan Dulce getting off the side on the ledge there. Blocks up with it. Very close on the Nair flip kick, but just before the Paralyzer comes out, Kawhi in with jab. Ooh, good parry. I like that. You're already right. These two players are already trying to feel each other out. It's like the check at the beginning of the enemy battle. Huh, this is how things get started. <laughs> yeah, in the absence of a real hand warmer here, there's just checking intentions of the minigame. You've seen Tanzel say throw out a few flip quicks. Why, obviously cognizant of that, but has to map out a game plan. How do you best get around that? Zelda, not the most mobile character. No, but it's really right now as interesting as the trades that he's getting off the night. Uh, Knight going ahead and actually guarding himself really well versus he's trying to get those side B kills. You know he's trying to get the kill with that. Yeah, especially for a character with a lot of quick hitboxes, as we do see the berry with the flip kick. That was a really nice good kill confirm in the beginning there. Great start for Pan Dulce. Ooh, oh, wait, what the heck? Where did he? I thought he had the shield up. That's so much shield pressure coming in from the Phantom, and Pan Dulce was just caught off guard as Kawhi snuck underneath the platform. That was a really good turnaround by Kawhi. That seems like the momentum might be starting to shift in his favor. Good crap. Oh, wow, 52% already off on that. It seems like they're feeling each other is out complete. Now it's just trying to go ahead and go full force. Yeah, missing a tech in that half of the stage, it does put you in no man's land, but this is a great recovery from Van Dulce to extend this, and another spot dodge to just get Kawhi out of jail. Absolutely. He gets the up smash right there at 73% already in climbing. This is looking a little bit dangerous. Oh, good. He actually has no fear after that. That knight keeps trying to go ahead and defend it, but you can't do it if you go ahead and have superior... Oh! Kawhi already going ahead and just instantly deleting that stock. Two stocks, two up airs from Kawhi, and Pendulce, that has to be a caution to you because now that thought has to cross your mind. Do I risk the flip kick? Uh, he's already shown he's going to go for that option to catch me out of the air. He's using make use of that knight really well, blocking both of his attacks and being able to switch the timing for it. I wonder if that's why Pandulce is actually taking the hits now from the knight. Good trade! It always feels like Pan's uh, plan is to go ahead and try to hit Zelda. <laughs> Like that! <laughs> Just keep him off the stage, stock deleted! Yeah, flip kick conversion. All of a sudden, this is a lot more even than it once was. Ooh, a lot close. Pan Dulce on his final stock, he's at 103%. Wait out that spot for that air dodge, excuse me. This is how the percentages get a little tense, but when it gets a little tense, it looks like Pan Dulce's uh, option is to go ahead and just press harder. Ooh! Pressed a little too hard. Kawaii able to go ahead and clean up that final stock. A little bit of that overextension there allowed him to get the grab and find that up air. Yeah, I guess Great first game from Kawaii. On the 50-50 as well towards the end there. Three up airs to take all three stocks. That has to be a sign to Pan Dulce if it wasn't already, you know. ZSS, one of those characters that thrives within the air, and that has to be a bit of a cautionary tale to going into game two. No, if, if that was me too, I'd try to be watching out for how I can avoid those kind of up air situations. But it'll be interesting to go ahead and see that. He has ZSS, he has the flip kick options, he has different ways that he can go ahead and maneuver around um, Zelda. What was really interesting is the interactions where you try to pit the knight out, and every t and half the time he would hit her before the trade would happen. But it would seem that Kawhi's adaptation to that was letting go of the knight sooner so she would get a trade. Yeah, absolutely. Phantom's timing is just so, so good for Zelda because you know, in theory, there's ways to beat it every single time, whether you go in or out space it just simply go above. But going for which one do you think she's going to throw out at any given moment, that's where Zelda thrives. Right. So finding out on that already on the side there, Kawaii actually, uh, you know, it's an even percentage at the moment. But I love the switches and the time tempo changing is really disorienting. I can only imagine what Bandul say has to go ahead and try to overcome. But so far, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, we've already seen Pandilce land a couple of landing nares and zares, but a good job from Kawhi to limit the damage. So for mitigating it, getting off the ledge there, finding his way there, trying for the set of Pandilce, not will it letting him have it yet. He wants to go ahead and just wait on that platform set, get an opportunity, and he gets an opportunity out of shield to get that up. Damn. 
damage actually working out with it. He seems to, I can feel it. He wants the kill. He's begging for the kill. But if he doesn't if he doesn't keep a little bit patient, Kawaii could capitalize on it. Sights. Good spot dodge out of the way and just outranges the Zare too. Ooh. That was an amazing flash kick actually for that part, but the Kawaii's gonna go ahead and take the first stock this time. Oh, that was an opportunity, but that Nair flip kick in the other direction, after he whiffed the boost kick, Kawhi had him in his sights just floating, and that dash attack oh, has to be a misinput. That has to be. It's unfortunate when things like that happen, but one thing's uncertain. If you can go ahead and capitalize it, every person has some form of human error. Nobody can be perfect. But it's always incredible to get just a little bit closer towards it. This conversion, though, that was a really interesting nice... That was a nice little cheeky combo. I like it. Getting a little bit of that stun in the air is always like just interesting for it. Okay, Knight went ahead and extended, but it wasn't able to go very far. Absorbs the stun shot. Ooh, he just went for that full forward smash. I almost thought that would hit, but I think he just barely spaced it out all the way. Oh, and outranges that forward air coming from ledge. Really well done on the read by Kawhi. Kawhi, yeah, actually just making that slight minor adjustment to go ahead and get his spacing just right. Pandulce has to be really close if he actually wants to go ahead and see a game three. Oh, he gets it! And a kill afterwards! That was incredible deduction for Pandulce. 0-0, zero, zero, last stock, game two. Yeah, that's a deceptively large down smash that Zelda has. Larger than the animation suggests. No, I would have thought that he was safe. I was like, oh, okay, he's safe. He's going to come back to the ledge. But no! No! Oh. And he has no jump! And that's it! Kawhi is going to go ahead and take the set. That's never the way you want to see a set like that end. But just a slight miscalculation from Dan. They'll say did not have the vertical reach. That's unfortunate. I've seen Pandulce's Zero uh, play before. Uh, remember, he's really amazing, incredible player. It's had a 